All right, so a lot of people will come into the chiropractor uh, wondering if there's anything we can do for neck pain. I'm Dr. Evan Wagner. I'm here to tell you a little bit about what that can mean. So uh, with neck pain, be it acute or chronic, it's a little bit more, of, uh, there's some other delicate structures up here and some different things that you need to take into account when um, we're talking about the neck. So you have the top bones in your neck, your atlas and your axis, very important. They, they support the entire weight of your head. They have very delicate ligaments that wrap all the way around there, so we need to be very precise when dealing with that area. All there, uh, there's also the nerves that run through there along with the vertebral artery up both sides. So when you're thinking about different things like that, we really do want to be uh, very precise in the things that we do as to not do more damage than the good that we're causing. Um, so when you're, when you're uh, putting all this into account, there's so many di di different benefits as far as um, the cervical, which is the neck adjustment with chiropractic. There's the mobilization of the joints to, to decrease inflammation, along with uh, the cerebrospinal fluid flow down the center of the vertebra that uh, supplies the brain with all of the fluid around it and is filtered constantly through the spine. So if you were to look on an MRI uh, image of the CSF fluid flowing through, it would be a continuous rate. And if there's any blockage due to a misalignment, that uh, flow would be impeded and there would be uh, less, um, less traveling to the, the brain to clean it out. So when different things like that happen, that's when people uh, experience things like that, they wouldn't normally think to come to a chiropractor because it shows up in different ways as far as uh, maybe your child's bedwetting or different things like that to where you think there's no way that there's a link. But when uh, different parts of the brain sit in these areas with stagnant uh, spinal fluid, it can cause some other things like that to show up. So um, that's the connection that we like to make with the patients as far as um, how to relate it back to their care here.